We spent a fair bit of time studying the experience of other countries because uh, our declining standing uh, really drove home to us that we should be learning from others. Plus, as we saw traveling the country, there was an acute need for Canadians to learn from each other as well. And we were struck repeatedly by um, a few points. One of them is integration is essential to move healthcare forward. Uh, we have a system of silos. We, we don't make the best use of the skills of all our health professionals. We don't align incentives to uh, reward team-based care or to ensure that, that patients are treated in the right place. Uh, there's still a very strong emphasis on institutions when so many people would rather be cared for at home, would be more comfortable and it would be more cost effective. So we saw in European healthcare systems much more in the way of a move to accommodate an aging population, to integrate home-based and community care with institutional care and to make sure the right suite of services was available to deal with an aging population. That, that was a general observation. When we looked at the US, we saw tremendous innovation in payment modalities. Obamacare has led to innovations like the accountable care organizations and bundled payment, uh, all of which really are steps towards things like health maintenance organizations or integrated delivery systems that really enable uh, a very different mode of bringing all the providers together under one budget and ensuring that the information technology is there for them to meet patients' needs and really changing the whole game in, in healthcare. We know that places like Kaiser Permanente are very cost effective, remarkable organizations with very happy providers in the main and happy patients. So that was, that was a, a set of insights into both the transition in American healthcare but also some of the leading models there and Canadians now have tended to, to look down their noses a bit at our friends to the south uh, because they haven't had universal health care. But there's so much we can and should learn from them, especially now that there's a real move to innovation and integration in the U.S. And then I, I think the, the final piece of the puzzle for many of us was a bit of a Cinderella story, if I may. Um, you know, when I was growing up in medicine, the U.K. National Health Service was... Uh, a bit of a whipping boy. Uh, long, long wait times for a whole variety of services. Uh, general practitioners' uh, offices that were closed you know, half the week. Um, really poor service in many ways. And what has happened is with some reinvestment, though still spending well below Canadian levels, and with some innovation in how they've organized and delivered care, the NHS has gone from being bottom of the heap to in, in many of these league tables rated as the best or near the best of the international healthcare systems. And the lesson for us is we can fix this. We can change things in Canada if we put our minds to it. Uh, we can bring this system forward and uh, restore the luster it once had. And I, I'm, I'm encouraged there's boundless possibilities here.